Hello, how are you all? It's Marcus here, and I wanted to ask you a question. Now, I wonder, are you a business owner? Or, or maybe you manage and lead teams? Maybe you're a parent. Now, I want you to think about that. Because as human beings, we're essentially selfish. It's part of our survival instinct to be able to extract new information, to extract things from others to serve ourselves. And a lot of our economy is based on trading, whether that be you pay money for information or you, you trade information for information. We're constantly trading either things or information. Now, if you're not in the transformation space and you don't understand how the mind works, then this might be a new concept for you. But I want you to take this sponge. So this sponge, I want you to imagine that you're, let's, let's say you're a manager or you're a leader or you're the CEO of a company and things aren't going well. Maybe you've got high staff uh, sickness. Maybe profits are down. And you want to be able to get your teams to be able to get better results. So this is how it normally works. We employ somebody and then we immerse them. So this is a, this is a bowl, I've got water in it. We immerse them in that environment. And we give them everything that we, we think that they need. Information, access to ICT systems. We pay them a salary. And this is what a lot of businesses especially those that have high staff turnover or sickness, then do. We call our personnel departments now human resources, so we treat people like pencils. We pay you money and we expect you to deliver. And what this can often look like or feel like is that we squeeze all the information and everything out of people. Now, if we don't look after people, what happens is, is that their cup, or their sponge in this case, becomes extracted of all that knowledge, all that information, all that passion and purpose that they may, may have brought into that company. And we will make an excuse because we pay them, because we've given them certain things, that they now owe us something. So now, as you can see, this sponge is quite dry. So imagine that's an employee. Or imagine that's even a, a, a family member who's working hard, you know, a mum or a dad, or even a child that's doing their best, but you think that they should be able to be better. So what we do is we squeeze more and we're looking to get every drop out of them. And often we, we do that through disciplinary processes or we, we say these are the standards that we expect and you're not meeting them. And often this... This, this makes people feel three things. The first one is, I'm not good enough. The second one is, I'm different. Why is it that everybody else seems to be able to do it and I can't? And the third one is, that's not available to me. I'm, I'm not able to do that. So then we use our logical mind to put people through a process that we believe is supporting them. But when you look at these processes, they're not there to protect the individual. They're not there to enhance that individual. They're there to enhance the organization. Maybe it's your business. It's a process, it's a logical process. Now, if you imagine the same maybe employee that is not, not at that level that you expect, what you don't know is, is maybe that when they were four, they were abused and they didn't feel safe. What you don't know is, is that when they were 10, they changed schools and were bullied. What you don't know is that their mother or father is going through cancer. And all of these things are emotional traits. And we would say, 
well that's not my problem i pay this person to go to work i pay this person to do a job it's not my responsibility to resolve that and in many cases i would agree but what if what if as an employer you take this water and you actually start to pour kindness, empathy, the support that they need over that employee. You make them feel safe. You start to fill up their emotional cup, not just their logical cup. And as you pour that water into them, as you give them the tools and the techniques, that support their emotional well-being, you'll find that once more they can serve you, once more they can delve into the business, and once more they become a productive part of society. You see, as human beings, our mind is there to keep us alive. It's not there to keep us happy. And it does that by connecting to what is familiar. So if your journey doesn't map directly with the person who's maybe line managing or the person who's leading that person, then there's an inconsistency and in understanding of that person's journey. One of the great phrases that I hear in the coaching space all the time is, oh, it's your mindset. And that's such an offensive phrase in my mind. It's not about mindset because Mindset or the logical process of getting from A to B sit in our, in our neocortex, in our prefrontal cortex, the logical part of our brain which runs 1-5% to 5 of our power. Our emotional creative brain is our subconscious, our unconscious. It's everything we've learned in the past that has been automated. And unless you can get to the root cause and reason to why the person is feeling the way they are, not the logical processes that you can see, the outputs, you will never resolve that problem. So, if you're watching this video, and maybe you're an employee that is going through a really tough time, or maybe you're a, a parent that's struggling to cope, maybe you're a line manager, you're a leader, you're a CEO, who's seeing a downturn in the profits of your company. You're seeing a, an increase in staff absences. You're seeing an increase in staff leaving your company. What if there was a solution that could quickly and easily support your staff, your communities, the people all around us, that could quickly, easily and effortlessly find out what there's emotional blocks in and why they feel the way they do and why they're unable to meet the standards that you're requiring of them. What if that was available? Wouldn't you want to find out more? My name is Marcus Matthews. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and transformation coach. And my dream is to empower people to change their lives, to understand why they feel the way they do, so they can have an active role in society and our communities, and together we can make the world a happier and more productive 